What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into that $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel. And as always, for baseball, I will have a code word at some point in this video. I will say code word is all you have to do to enter your name into a chance to win free access to Greenlight DFS for MLB tonight is DM me that code word at cam underscore ATL on Twitter. Make sure you come follow me and then DM me that code word and then I will randomly be selecting one of you to get free access to Greenlight DFS for MLB. Thank you guys for joining me as always. I mentioned it in my NBA video but I had some exciting news to mention today that we will in fact have an NFL optimizer for Greenlight DFS. So the NFL optimizer will be available come week one. We will be able to use it um, this season. So I'm super excited about that, man. We had an amazing NFL season last year. Super excited to get back into it. So far, this MLB season has been spectacular. Um, a lot of us won like five digits a few, just a few days ago getting a, that takedown. So it was a huge, it's already been a huge season. I really want to, uh, over the weekend, I didn't do any videos and it seemed like I just took a little bit of a hit down, struggled a little bit this weekend, but excited to get this week going and, and having a great week. So let's get straight into it. Now, starting off at pitching, Trevor Bauer is my guy, man. He's just been on a whole nother level this year. The dude is a beast. Like, honestly, I love people like Trevor Bauer. The dude is just incredibly competitive. He'll say whatever he wants to say on Twitter. He doesn't give a shit. Like, he, he just is who he is. He's super, super competitive. He can tell you what pitch he's throwing you, and you still can't hit it. He is a monster, and I love people like him. I love competitive people like him because you know when he goes out there, it's not going to be a lack of effort if he gets blown up. He's going to put 100% effort out there. And going against Milwaukee, a team that struggles, uh, I mean, strikes out a lot, I actually played Bauer this season. Last time he played Milwaukee, he had a solid outing. And once again, I'm going to do that again. Solid matchup against Milwaukee. Milwaukee strikes out a lot. I think Bauer's going to have a fantastic outing here. And he is my favorite pitcher on the board. Um, he's pretty much a lock, in my opinion. I'm going to have a lot of Trevor Bauer. Um, I know he's 10-2 and he's expensive, but... I'm going to have it. Like I said, get your pitching right. Figure your bats out later. There's bats um, on the slate that are a decent price that are mashing the hand that they're facing. And, and, you know, it's a great spot for them. So we'll get to that, though, in a second. Next up, Flaherty, Lazardo, Lynn, Maeda. SP2 is a little bit complicated. There's multiple ways you could go. Now, you could go Lazardo, the lefty against Texas. Obviously, the Texas power that you worry about are lefties, so Lazardo could offset that and have a good game. Um, Lance Lynn is who I'm really sitting out on. So let's go Bauer and let's go Lynn. Lynn's one of the guys, but but this is if you just are incredibly, if you're just straight up paying up for both your pitchers. Lynn and Bauer are my go-tos. Bauer's locked. Okay, but Lynn is a guy, he's going against an Oakland squad that is predominantly right handed. I mean, he's going to face a, a few lefties like Matt Olson, which is a dangerous lefty, but Lynn's been incredible this season. Very, very solid. And, and look, his numbers against righties are elite. Okay, and he's actually really, really solid versus lefties too, but against righties, he's elite. Now, this whole damn near, this entire Oakland offense is a bunch of righties. There's going to be a lot of righties he's going to be facing in this one. So, Lance Lynn, I like a lot. Last time Kenta Maeda came out, he almost threw a no hit hitter for us. It was an amazing night out of Kenta Maeda. That was the takedown night, wasn't it? I believe Kenta Maeda, comment down below, was Kenta Maeda in the takedown line? I think it might have been, actually. Um, outside of that, um, Brad Keller is a guy that interests me at only 6'7". He's had a fantastic season this year. Now, the dude, get, he's gotten a little bit lucky, but at the end of the day, Brad Keller is has been solid. Like, And if he keeps that up, I mean, at this price, that's ridiculous. Going against St. Louis, it's not a great matchup, but he's gotten 26, 19, and 25 in the three starts he's gotten this year. He's not a guy who's going to blow you away and get you a ton of strikeouts. But his pitch count's been going up. Started at 75 first start of the year, then went up to 90, then 95. I would expect close to 100 here. So him getting close to 100 pitches with the way he's been pitching this year, I mean, if he can limit the hard contact, it's, it's going to be a great spot for him. St. Louis's lineup strikes out over 25% of the time versus righties. I like Brad Keller as a value if you want to spend down over Lynn. So like I said, Bauer's locked. Don't overthink that. Bauer's the guy who could break the slate. All right. Um, and then next up after that, it's, I mean, Lance Lynn, Brad Keller, Flaherty, Lazardo. There's multiple options that you could go for SP2. So it's just all about what you're looking like when it comes to the money that you have left over. All right. At first base, 
there's a few options I like. I really like Christian Walker um, at 3.8. Um, he's the second highest projected guy on the optimizer. Obviously, the optimizer focuses for, towards GPP, though. It's trying to get the low-owned guys that have some upside potential. The guy that I'm going to go, though, and I have to fix his uh, projection, obviously, is y Yuli Gurriel. Houston's one of my favorite stacks going against Sandoval. All right. Now, the thing that sticks out here with Gurriel is just the fact that he has been absolutely mashing left-handed pitching. All right, plain and simple. Gurriel is a lefty masher. 391 average versus lefties the, the last 20 games. All right, so throughout his last 20 games, he's hitting a 391 average, three home runs. All right, dude's crushing. So Yuli Gurriel, I mean, that Vegas implied total is also over five. Gurriel is in a fantastic spot here. Um, outside of that, at first base, you can go Todd Frazier has had some solid um uh, Solid days versus left-handed pitching. He's got a 346 against lefties. He's a solid option. Um, Paul Goldschmidt has hits righties. Has been hitting righties fairly well. Obviously, we prefer him versus lefties, but uh, so far this year, he's had a 309 average versus righties. I do like Keller. If you play Keller, don't play Goldschmidt. And I do like Gurriel over Goldschmidt, but Goldschmidt is a play. You saw Daniel Murphy was at the top of the uh, projections for the green light optimizer. Completely makes sense. Murphy has over a 300 batting average versus righties. So he's got the lefty righty against Kelly. Only 4-3, which is very interesting. <clears throat> and then you saw Christian Walker. I talked about him. He's another guy that I like. Um, he's going to be batting in the heart of this order, going against Castellani. Now, Castellani is actually a pitcher that I'm not wanting to, you know, I'm not wanting to stack against him necessarily because he has been really solid. And imagine how good he'll be outside of, imagine how good and solid he'll be outside of Coors. Like, he's been okay. He got blown up by Houston and Coors, but who wouldn't? You know what I mean? Now... You know, he's on the road. Solid situation here. I think Castellani is also another very solid value. Let me go. I just want to make sure I, I mention him. Castellani, 5-2 for GPPs. He's been solid. Now, he's getting to go outside, of course. It's a, it's a great spot for him. I think he's a solid option. All right, so Castellani, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. Now, I have a few outfielders that are in for fantastic spots. I want to start it off with David Peralta. David Peralta is going against the Castellani that I just mentioned, but Peralta has been so good versus right-handed pitching, and his price is only 3-4, and that Vegas total is over 5. So it's Castellani's only GPP. I would not be surprised to see Castellani have a good game, but that's only GPP because there are some guys on this Arizona team that can hit righties well, and David Peralta is one of them, hitting a 362 batting average versus right-handed pitching, and he's only 3-4 and one of the higher totals on the slate. So super, super interesting here. I definitely like David Peralta. He's a very interesting option uh, in the outfield. And then I want to go with Jesse Winker. I'm hoping that the lefty-lefty matchup will keep his ownership low against Anderson. But plain and simple, Anderson has been struggling versus lefties and righties. You can play lefties or righties against him. Jesse Winker's hitting a 357 batting average as of recently going against lefties. That's crazy, and a lot of people might avoid it just solely on the fact that it's lefty-lefty. But at the end of the day, he's hitting a 357. He's got one of the better batting average versus lefties um, on the slate, and he's only 4,000. So not many people are going to play him. I think he's going to be a lower-owned guy because of the lefty-lefty matchup, and most people automatically assume, oh, it's got to be lefty-righty. But Winker's been solid versus lefty, so he's completely fine. So that's pretty much it. you got Bauer, and then you can go Lynn, Keller, um, Lazardo, all those guys, uh, all those SP2s. And then you can, uh, I love Gurriel at first base. Um, and then Peralta and Winker in the outfield. And that's the core for today. Uh, let's go ahead and check FanDuel real quick. Let's see the prices over here. Now, over on FanDuel, I'm probably just going to play Trevor Bauer and move on. Um, we do have Tampa Bay on this slate going against Toronto. Blake Snell's uh, pitch count has been going up a bit. Is that on the main slate? I'm not sure because the optimizer automatically will put all the slates and you got to uncheck them um, if they're not in. But I'm going, look, on the main, I'm probably going to go Bauer still. Um, let's check out the value, the, the value that we have on the slate. All right, so. All right, so first off, Kron, fantastic spot. Uh, love Kron. Um, he's in a good matchup here. Uh, let's see. Let's see our guys that we like. Let's check out Winker. What's Winker? 3-1. Not too bad. Peralta. 2-9. He's going to be play playable as well. How much is Gurriel at first? Yuli Gurriel is 3-4. 
Um, let's check. Let's check that first base spot. Kevin. Yeah, Kevin Cron's been hitting very, very well. He's a solid value. Oh, Daniel Murphy's probably my favorite first baseman. I talked about the lefty-righty matchup. Good batting, over batting over 300. He's a solid option here at only 2-6. Definitely, the numbers definitely uh, say that Daniel Murphy's a solid option there. Um, let's check the outfield. You got a lot of value. A lot of times you're going to get amazing value in the outfield. I mean, you've got guys like, you know, Jake Cave, Tapia, Hilliard. All these guys are going to be solid options. Um, Kyle Schwarber sticks out to me at 2-7. Peralta at 2-9. These guys are fantastic options, man. So you're just going to have plenty of value, as always, over on FanDuel. Trevor Bauer, I, I recommend you just go ahead and get Trevor Bauer. He's my guy on every uh, every slate today. Obviously, the optimizer is going to have a few people above because it's trying to get you a little bit lower owned, just in case. Um, but, yeah, Trevor Bauer is my favorite, and then you're going to always be able to find those value bats. Peralta is still amazing value. Daniel Murphy over here is amazing. Um, and then go from there. All right, thank you guys for joining me as always. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad. Man, let's smash these slates today. And I'm out. Peace.